Welcome back to Homesteading with the Zimmermans, where we work hard and play hard on our little corner of land in Iowa. My husband and I were born and raised Old Order Mennonite, or Horse and Buggy Mennonite, as some refer to them as. And although we are no longer part of that culture or community, we are intentional about passing on the old-fashioned skills of our childhood to the next generation. Hello everybody, welcome back to cold and now snowy Iowa. Um, in today's video, I am going to be showing you how we prepare for our first snowstorm of the year and then take you through our snow day. Now, um, the snow, we only got, I think about five to six inches, but it was enough to shut down the schools for a day and to complicate our animal chores. Um, but probably best of all, when we have a snow day and the children don't go to school, we make a, a traditional snow day breakfast that we've been doing for years and years. And I'm gonna share that recipe with you. And it's just gonna be a really fun day. And by the time you watch this video, we will be in the grips of another snowstorm but the difference with this upcoming snowstorm is that temperatures are predicted to drop well below zero like in the teens and 20s below zero so the video that i show you um is going to look like a really fun snow but when you watch it you imagine us being in a snowstorm with temperatures of 20 below and those are not as much fun and we have to take those a lot more seriously because we have to take even more steps to protect our animals from the cold but in today's video it is one of those rare snows where temperatures hover just below freezing and it's not a dangerous snowstorm so thankfully, um, in today's world, we've got modern technology that can let us know when there's a snowstorm moving in. And this allowed us to prepare, making sure all the animals have plenty of food and water and dry bedding. And like usual, when weather is moving in, the animals seem to sense it and they are extra frisky and extra hungry. So it started snowing before we all went to bed and we learned that school had been canceled before anybody was sleeping. So we were able to sleep in and wait until daylight to do chores. Normally on a regular school morning, we do chores soon after six. And at that time it is still dark outside. Um, it is about 25 degrees this morning as we head out. So it's not dangerous at all. Um, but we do need to be extra sure that the animals all have a warm spot, a dry spot to bed down on. What are you guys doing out here? Yeah. 
You guys gotta go in the barn. Come on. So since this is the first time that the piglets have seen snow of any amount, of a measurable amount, they are not exactly sure what to think. I'm going to I'm going with this bucket up with snow that that I just have to get it out of the bucket mm. to um pull up my face.
so now that the animals are all fed and milked and watered, we are headed into the house and I'm straining all of the milk into the cheese pot today. And it is time to make our traditional snow day breakfast. So our traditional snow day breakfast is what we call German pancakes. Some people call them Dutch babies. And it's six eggs, one cup of milk, and one cup of flour, half a teaspoon of salt, and it's all blended together until it is nice and foamy. And this recipe will be linked in the description. And we are, of course, making a double recipe today. And I have melted a couple tablespoons of butter in my cast iron pan and preheated the cast iron. And then our milk and egg and flour mixture gets poured into the preheated cast iron pan. And we will bake it for about 20 minutes. And then for the caramel sauce, of course, we need one and a half cups of sugar, three fourth a cup of milk, one half cup of butter, and two tablespoons of maple syrup. And then you're also gonna add one teaspoon of baking soda, and you're gonna bring this to a slow simmer, and you're gonna um, simmer it for 17 minutes. After it has simmered for 17 minutes, you're going to add your vanilla and remove it from the heat. You might take a peek at the German pancakes and find them to be all but done and it is time to go call the boys in for breakfast. They have been working hard at clearing the front deck and they have also been working at the back patio. We'll put powdered sugar on. Mom, can I sit right here? Mom, what's up with the bubbles? Mom, can I sit right here? Those are the hills. After our delicious breakfast of German pancakes with the caramel sauce, um, we get busy. The kids are going to do the breakfast dishes and I'm getting started on some sourdough bread. Well, I actually started it last night and now it's time to continue it. And I'm also going to keep working on my cheese. I've had a lot of requests for sharing cheese videos, um, but here's the thing. I don't feel like I quite understand the process well enough to teach it. Um, I've only been making cheese for about a year and possibly soon I'll have enough confidence to uh, teach how to make cheese. 
But for now, I am just busy learning everything I can about cheese making so that someday soon I can um, give you some videos on making hard aged cheeses. Now many experts say that you shouldn't ever make bread and cheese um, on the same day um, but oftentimes what happens is I'm going to be in my kitchen and I start multiple projects and before I know what's happening I'm too committed to change my mind so here I am making sourdough bread on one surface and making cheese on the other surface. And then in the middle of this day, we ventured out to a neighbor's house because we had an appointment for getting um, our daughter's wedding dress altered and a couple of the bridesmaids dresses altered as well. So back home, it is time to get the cheese into the press. And we're going to take this warm way to the pigs and that is going to be a perfect snow day treat for them. Some warm way in their bellies. So Mitchell has been helping his brother-in-law with snow removal since 3 a.m. this morning and he's now home and has cleared all of our driveway and then we'll head to his second part-time job later this afternoon. And the bread is ready to shape into loaves. This is our favorite white sandwich bread recipe and I've done a complete video on it. So I will link the video to this bread recipe in the description of this video. So because it is right around the freezing point, um, the snow packs very well and the boys have spent almost the entire afternoon preparing to build an igloo of sorts. They have used the small buckets from the barn and packed them full of snow and they told me that they made over a hundred bricks for their igloo. And now, for the entire reason, we make caramel sauce for our German pancakes on a snow day. Is it clean? Yeah. Okay, bring it here. Mom, can I come? Um, 
Yep, you go get undressed and you can have your caramel. So we warm our leftover caramel sauce until it is liquid again. And then we pour it over some fresh, clean snow. And then we give it just a few minutes to harden enough so that we can pick it up. And then we have a delicious afternoon treat of a caramel on snow. So I'm currently working on making all the fake fur shawls for the bridesmaids of our daughter's upcoming wedding. And one of my goals today was to get all six of those finished. So as the boys finish their caramel candy, I am working on finishing the shawls. And just before supper time, my sourdough bread is finally ready to bake. So we scored those and baked them. So as my bread baked, I ran outside and gave all of the livestock a bit of grain because temperatures are dropping well below freezing tonight and giving them grain works like a heater for them as their body works to digest the grain their metabolism heats them up from the inside out so although we don't normally feed our animals at night um, on cold winter nights we do make sure they get extra grain before bed and my bread is done just in time for us to use it to have some pulled pork sandwiches for our supper. So after supper, I remember that it is time to take my cheese from the press and put it into a saltwater brine. So I set about making my brine and removing my cheese from the press and putting it into the saltwater brine where it will rest for the next 24 hours. So at this point, um, the boys have gone to bed. They could barely keep their eyes open anymore after their busy day playing in the snow and I can think of little else except going to my own bed and I am not going to slice my bread tonight. I'm just going to cover it up and let it sit on the counter until morning.